Good morning, modern steaders. Eight below out this morning, guys. I'm supposed to be getting rid of this cold weather, not getting more of it. Oh. You got a frosty stash there, Willow. You got frost all over you. I know it was cold last night then, huh? You do too, Buttercup. How about some alfalfa pellets to warm you up? Oop. Oh. Yeah, we'll spread them out a little bit. That should start your day off right. Well, they drank all their water that I brought out last night when I locked up the barn. Watering the goats the way we do, I can keep track of how much water they drink and when they drink it. You having spring weather where you live? We're not yet. <laughs> We're looking forward to it though. <sighs> Figaro's really getting cabin fever. You guys sleeping in this morning? I don't blame you, it's chilly. It's so cold out this morning, they haven't laid any eggs. <sighs> I don't blame them for that. Hear the birds chirping? The birds that came back, I wonder if they're going, man, why did we come back so early? It's so cold out. The sounds of spring. I love listening to those birds. I should make a bird feeder sometime. But then, you don't want to have your bird feeders out in the springtime, because then the bears come out of hibernation, and they go for the bird feeders, so. I don't know. That's a tough one. You ready? What is that? What are them chickens doing? You scared? Tanner cracks me up because he doesn't know what to think about the chickens yet. You ready to go in? It's cold out, huh? I think I'm feeling a little saucy today, guys. It's cold out, but man, do I have spring fever. Uh, we're gonna get outside and we're gonna work on our bacon mobile. It might be fun just trying to get the trailer to move. We're gonna find out. I hope it's not frozen. Oh yeah, it's well wet. Oh, not too bad. It wants to settle right there. Alright. Well, I guess we better start by cleaning it off. Got some pretty good ice buildup. Our square will double as an ice scraper. I want to check the factory ends for squareness. Got 
some ice build up, so <sighs> making it a little difficult. That one's nice and square. That one's pretty square. Not bad. I'm checking these because I got to cut them in half. And I want to know if there's some factory ends I need to cut off or not. Awesome, they're all right there. So they're just over 98. I wonder if they all measure the same. Nope, they're all different lengths. If they're all the same length, we could have cut them in half and been done with it. But we're going to have to go around and cut them all down to 48 inches. So that way our deck is nice and even. Might as well get comfortable. <laughs> I want to get them all marked and laid out because the tools that I have are battery operated and the batteries are not going to like this cold temps. So I'll try to do it all at once and keep the batteries warm for as long as we can <laughs> before we bring them outside. I think the saw knows it's cutting frozen wood. With everything being froze up, I don't think it's a good idea to screw everything on. I think we can get it laid out and I can pre-drill for the screws. And then that way, once the ice decides to melt, we can come out here and finish getting the deck put on. Easy peasy. I'll finish getting these laid out and we'll be right back. I have a 3 16 drill bit and I'm gonna pre-drill all, all these holes. I think if I screw them into the four by six right now, everything's frozen and covered in ice. It's not gonna be level and even. It won't make for a good product. Ah, 
probably a good idea to go see if the hens in New York City laid any eggs since earlier. Being so cold out today, they'll probably freeze and crack if we don't collect them multiple times throughout the day. Oh, wow. One, two, three, six eggs so far. Nice. It's a good thing we decided to come out and check on them. Oh, that sun feels so good. I just wish it was a little bit warmer. They're all sleeping so hard. They got such a rough life. You're silly. Olivia and I decided since it's kind of cold and yucky out, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. We're gonna make a Hawaiian pizza tonight. Huh? Yeah. Maybe we'll think we're in Hawaii and it's <laughs> nice and warm out. Yeah. And that's white beach sand out there. Not snow, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got some block of mozzarella cheese we need to shred, and then we got some cold cut ham. We're gonna use our food processor with our medium shredding disc on it. Okay, put it on low. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> you got like cheese curds? Yeah. Well, we can use them on the pizza. That can go in the sink and I'll take this off. And this thing? Yep. Look, we're going to Hawaii and we don't even gotta leave our house. Right? Chopping those pineapples into a nice bite size size, huh? That's gonna be perfect. All right, well you do that, I'll doctor up the sauce. So I'm using just regular tomato sauce. Put in some cloves of garlic. Yep. 
get two small cloves of garlic. I'm gonna add in two pinches of Italian seasoning. Give that a stir. What do you got there? Pricky thing. Oh, you gonna put some little brick marks in the pizza dough? Yeah. Can't even see them, it blends in with the herbs. Got a preheated pizza sheet. I'll get it on there and you can spread it. Crusty. What? There's a crust, a layer of crust that you're breaking through. It still looks like our jumps over there. Did you eat all your hay? You're scaring the goat. You're looking pretty big, Willow. You're looking pretty big. Yeah, I hope you're pregnant. I hope so. They've been eating that seaweed up pretty good. There you go. Have some more hay. That's all I got. Just hey. You keep breaking through. Yeah. You know what that's a sign of? Spring. Spring, that's right. Means the snow is starting to melt and break up. Not sure if there's any more eggs, but we might as well check. I know nope, we got them all earlier. Happy to see mom. Yeah. How long does this need to be? It's gonna go back in for three more minutes once we put the cheese on. That's not bad. No. Nope. The bottom's a little sticky. We even shredded our own cheese, mom. We're going to Hawaii tonight. Oh, sounds great. Right? So we said.
Ooh, that looks good. Hawaii, here we come. Oh, this is gonna be delicious, Livy's. I can already tell. That's it. Oh, look at that. It's going to be delicious. I decided I wanted pie tonight for my birthday instead of cake. It's a pie. It's a pie. And I said, who? And then we got some entertainment while we were eating dinner. <laughs> Those two will do this on and off throughout the day. Figo will run off, be mad like he doesn't like it, then he'll turn around and he'll instigate Tanner again. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, I just want to thank you guys for coming along on our journey with us. You are a huge blessing to our family and our homestead. Remember, failures aren't failures until we quit. Failures are just another learning opportunity. Every time we think we're down or we're beat up or something isn't going our way, we just need to change our perspective at which way we look at it and shine a new light on it. There's always something we can take away from a situation. Your uniqueness makes you who you are. Let it shine. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.